welcome to Hancon Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. Drama as witness presents documents confirming Akpabio won with white margin. There was a mild drama at the National Assembly Elections Petition Tribunal in Akwaibon State when a witness, Mr. Godwin Afangide, presented a document confirming that C Senator Goswe Akpabio won the Akwa Ibon North West Senatorial Election. Counsel to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Mr. Solomon Umo, SAN, had given Afangide a document presented by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to read to the tribunal. The document was an exhibit presented by INEC in a petition filed by Senator Goswe Akpabu of the All Progressives Congress, APC, challenging the declaration of engineer Christopher Ekpeyong, PDP, as the senator for Akwaibon Northwest Senatorial District. Reading from the documents given to him by counsel to PDP, the witness, Mr. Afangide, said, My Lord, even from these documents, APC scored a total vote of 61,000, 329 votes and PDP scored 9,050 in SN Udim local government area and it is recorded here. Mr. Umo, SAN, had attempted to shout down the witness from reading that part of the document. Mr. Afangide had earlier tendered results collated from words across the local government area as given to him by the party agents, which clearly showed that Senator Akpabio had won the election in his own local government area with a wide margin. The witness expressed surprise at the voters registered tendered in court and said it was different from the one that was used on election day. He confirmed that he had voted along with his family members. According to Mr. Afangide, the elections in SN Udim local government area were very peaceful as attested by the security agencies, local and foreign observers. The police officers, the area commander, Ikotekwene Area Command, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mr. Naziru Belu Kankafori, and the Divisional Police Officer, SN Udim Local Government, Superintendent of Police, Mr. Samuel Isiek, on subpoena tender situation reports on the conduct of the National Assembly elections. The reports were duly admitted as exhibits despite the initial objections of counsel to the PDP, Mr. Humon, SAN, counsel to the respondents, Chief Kano Agabi, and counsel to INEC, Mr. Robert Emekburu. They observed their objection to final addresses. Another witness, Dr. Chris Ackman, who was a ward coalition agent, told the tribunal that the results that were declared by INEC in Uyo did not reflect collated results from the units and wards of the local government area. Reacting to suggestions by the council to INEC that results from the local government area of Senator Akpabio were cancelled because of violence, the witness expressed surprise and said they were hearing of violence for the first time in the tribunal. Senator Akpabio had so far called 14 witnesses, mostly ward agents, mostly ward agents who have tendered duly collated results. Results so far tendered showed he had led his opponents with a wide margin before INEC cancelled the results in Uyo. Yeah, these are the things that are really unfolding. The witnesses are saying Senator Akpabio won his opponents, Chris Ekpeyong, with a wide margin. And they are saying they've never had anything like violence during the election, that they were just hearing the old thing, or that violence occurred or happened during the election for the first time in the tribunal, that they are really surprised. And now Gosu Akpabio brought 14 witnesses. You know, most of them are really, you know, agents from all those wars and they are testifying that what they have is different from what they are seeing at the tribunal so like what they are seeing insisting that senator akpabio really won with a wide margin so 
it is still the court that will determine the whole thing. I don't know how they are going to go about the whole thing, but the way everything is looking, I hope Senator Akwabio wins at the end of the day. Meaning the opponent, if he wins, if he eventually, if he eventually wins at the end of the day, that means the op uh, the opponent, which is a uh, Chris Ekunyong, we have to give back the mandate to Goswami Akwabio. So that's just the whole thing, and it's like Akwabio does not really want to back down. He's still pursuing the whole thing. He's still insisting, and he wants to gather as many evidence that he can really present to the courts so that he could have the judgment to himself. But I just feel that maybe he's, he has really moved on and just let the winner continue with the position even at the Senate because I feel that maybe he has a, some kind of backing or hoping that he might be given a ministerial appointment. I think the reason why he's really pushing this whole thing is that maybe there's handwriting on the wall. Since his people have uh, really come out to say that President Moab President Buhari should not just give him any ministerial appointment due to his character and all of that. Maybe that is why he's still really pushing that. If he, really, if he can really get something out of the whole thing, if he can get judgment out of the whole thing, if really that no violence occurred during that time and he won with wide margin based on the witnesses' documents that he freely presented, he might get it at the end of the day. It just depends on the, the evidence before the judge. That will make him to decide if Akpabio is going to win at the end of the day. But as it is, Akpabio is not ready to back down. He's still insisting and he's still trying to gather as many witnesses as possible so that he will get his mandate back. Because what he said from the beginning is that his mandate was stolen, that he has to get it back. But I think he's the only one fighting this whole thing. I'm not seeing any APC from the federal level, you know, going together with him to the to the court to really testify he has to carry his court he has to carry his cross you know by himself but i don't know if really aqua uh, people really wants him back or maybe they see give him that kind of respect they really they've been giving to him before now because he's been accusing the guinea the presiding officer in that state that he could uh, he could knife with some people and they just rose resort from nowhere and he told his people that it's not possible for him a whole Almighty Senator Akpabio to have lost an election. It's not possible. Because the thing is still really, a, you know, just like a miracle that how can a whole Akpabio that really had the state for like more than 16 years. That means he's so popular that nobody can defeat him. And the whole thing is just sounding like miracle. The whole thing is just like as if he's dreaming. I think that's one of the reasons he's still really pushing forward, you know, still pushing up so that he can really get his mandate at the end of the day. But I don't know if the way he's thinking about it, that is how the masses, you know, Akwai Bon people are really looking at the whole thing. If they really want him back or they would have preferred he, he takes over the mansion. But I don't know if I, Chris Ekbeyongo is even ready to to take any chances because I know himself will be bringing a lot of evidences to counter the witnesses Senator Pabio is bringing up. To the tribunal so that's just my own opinion i don't know when all of this is going to end but if it's lucky fine he gets it back so guys i would like you guys to put out your opinion concerning what is happening the new drama and the new twist to the whole thing thank you very much bye